Welcome everybody to the next in the protocol video series. We've got S123 for you today. This is altered neurologic function from a non-traumatic origin. So this again is adult BLS protocols. Quite a few to get through. Let's get started. We'll start off by ensuring a patent airway, O2 and or ventilate as needed, O2 saturation as needed, spinal stabilization as needed. Sometimes you don't always know if it's a medical or a trauma. Secretion problems. You should position on the affected side. Do not allow the patient to walk. Restrain as needed and monitor blood glucose as needed if trained and available, which you guys will be by the completion of this program. With your symptomatic suspected opioid overdose with a respiratory rate of less than 12 a minute, they put a disclaimer here, use caution in opioid dependent pain management patients because if we give them too much Narcan, we're going to completely knock off all of their pain medication and send them into a serious amount of pain. So we'll always consider that with overdoses. We can use naloxone nasal spray. This is one version, four milligrams in a preloaded single dose device where you administer the full dose in one nostril or more commonly, you'll have naloxone that you have to assemble in a two milligram syringe with an atomizer known as a MAD mucosal atomizer device and then we'll administer one milligram or one ml into each nostril. For your hypoglycemic patients or suspected hypoglycemic patients, or if the patient's glucometer reads less than 60, or since we carry our own, you take the patient's glucose and it's less than 60. If they're awake and able to swallow, you'll give three oral glucose tabs or the paste via the buccal route for a total of 15 grams. The patient may also eat or drink if able to. If the patient is unconscious, NPO, that's nothing by mouth, so we should not be giving oral glucose to our unconscious patients. We need to get ALS en route as soon as possible. For your suspected cerebrovascular accident or a stroke, we'll refer to S144 for the stroke slash transient ischemic attack for additional details. We'll have a video on that. Seizures will protect the airway and protect them from injury, and we will treat all associated injuries. There's another protocol reference in here for behavioral emergencies. That's S422 and S142. Some notes down here at the bottom. EMTs not yet trained in naloxone, IN, that's intranasal administration, may assist family or a friend to medicate with the patient's prescribed naloxone for symptomatic suspected opioid overdose. These prescribed naloxone um, preloads, if you will, they're common with people who have really bad opioid dependency issues or they're on pain management and sometimes you get these patients that accidentally overdose. EMTs are authorized to administer one dose of naloxone. If the patient refuses transport or if additional doses are required, initiate 911. Basically, you need ALS there. Public safety personnel may administer intranasal naloxone when authorized by the County of San Diego EMS Medical Director. And you guys are being trained in the administration of intranasal naloxone through this program. So that's it for the BLS side of this protocol. Again, this was S123, Altered Neurologic Function in a Non-Traumatic Patient. Thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next protocol video.